Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome to this video. I'm actually going to be showing you guys the fastest way to get XP in Balloons TD Battles. I know a lot of people are struggling with getting XP because they just want to get powers quick. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's understandable. You want to get Universal XP, Sabo Balloon, Tower, Power, Track, and Eco XP. So, that all, that, that makes sense. Like, so, the fastest way, and a lot of people, I don't know if they don't know this, but the way to get XP is when you go in a game, like just a random game, and you use certain powers, like let's say you use a Sabo, but you don't even need to use it in the game, you just need to bring it with you, you will actually get XP. So this is the fastest arena for XP, hands down. It is R3 speed, and yes, you will need club access to this, unfortunately. I would say try and play as quick games as possible and use random, uh, what's called random powers if you do not have club access. But this video is for like club access users so i really do recommend spending the what what's it called three or four dollars it costs like it's it's often out on sale so it's pretty easy to get club but if you can spare three or four dollars on club i'd highly recommend getting it um but what you want to do is just play r3 speed and trust me this is definitely the best for xp and the reason why i'm about to show you but yeah, do be sure to go down and leave that like button or leave leave a smash on that wait leave a yeah, like the smash button. Um, let's see if we can hit three likes on this video. And also, please consider subscribing. Because I'd appreciate it. And uh, road to 50k. But, okay. So, right now, if as you, as you notice, in R3 speed, we get the exact same powers. So, we upgrade balloons. And we have tower blindness. And we have super eco boost. So, we have an eco power, a sapo power. And I actually have no clue what this is. Maybe a balloon power. Yeah, this is a balloon, balloon power. Okay. So, since it's speed, uh, we want to be somewhat aggressive. So, right now, he's going to put down a wizard. Basically, you want to try and win games as fast as you possibly can. Um, which is good in speed, because here you can actually win pretty quickly. Uh, especially when you're playing in these lower arenas, because your opponents usually don't really know much about what they're doing. You just want to be really aggressive and punish your opponents as good as you can. Uh, right now, our guy here is falling behind because he is not... What's it called? He's not doing anything. He's not farming. He's not eco. Okay, now he's starting to eco, but he's a little late. Uh, you want to eco way, way sooner than this, so I have no idea what he was doing. Also, in speed, eco is actually pretty good. Um, the reason why eco is pretty good in speed is because you get eco every 4.2 seconds instead of the normal 6 seconds, so you don't have to wait that long. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use a super eco boost. And as I said, you don't actually need to use the powers. Like, you, you don't need to. The powers are just kind of there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to send him a bunch of blacks up behind. I'm actually going to upgrade these balloons right now. And then I do want to tower blindness him. So there we go. Hopefully this could, uh, could do a little bit of damage. Let's see. He might even go down from this. There's a bunch of balloons on his screen, and it does look like he's dying. And he did die. Okay, so we win our first game. It only took a minute and 30 seconds. Notice that. And then look here. Balloon, or XP. We get 28 balloon XP, 28 sabotage XP, and 25 eco XP, as well as 7 universal XP. And if we got all that XP in, like, a minute 30 seconds. Something like that, which is why this is... Uh, <laughs> this is the best way. Like, I'm promise, I'm not bullshitting you guys. This is the best way to grind XP. But uh, let me actually show you how to pull off some games in this arena. So I'll be right back with my next opponent. Okay, okay. So we're back here. We got our next opponent, Makako or Makako. All right. Let's see. Uh, shield. This is good. Uh, that's. I actually don't know what kind of XP that is. Power lock and salted runes. Okay. Let's see here. Let's uh, let's begin immediately. All right. So right here, I'm actually thinking of starting out with a uh, what's it called mortar. So mostly because this is uh, way better against group balloons, and that's what we're mainly gonna be sending here. So I'm gonna go for a rapid reload right now, and just keep on going. I don't know. I don't think we can get in assaulted rooms, unfortunately, but. I will try my best. Since he has his mortar going right now, I want to send him a bunch of pinks. And I just want to ruin his shield so we can get in assaulted runes as fast as possible. 
So we just got to keep sending pings because as you can see, these are just going to break down his shield uh, quickly. All right. But let's place this here and let's keep on sending these. And now we're just going to send him a bunch of blacks, obviously. And there we go. Now I'm going to salted runes and this is going to give me a ton of eco. Okay, that's really nice. There we go. He might even not die from this. I'm just going to use a power lock. Not for anything, just because. And it legit takes me one minute to win. One minute, two seconds to win another game. Like, this is how, this is why R3 speed is so good to grind. And look at this. Track XP, 28. Sabo XP, 29. Eco, 26. And 6 Universal XP. This arena is so good for grinding. Um... Just for XP, like the medallions obviously aren't great. I don't even know how many medallions this is. This is, Yeah, it's only 500 medallions per win. So the medallions aren't great. I mean, if you don't have that many medallions, I guess they're good. But the whole thing you need to learn about this arena is it's all about... You have the exact same powers and towers as your opponent. So whatever you can do to them, they can do to you. You just need to make sure you do it to them before they get a chance to do it to you. So it's really about being very aggressive here. But don't get to the point where you can't defend yourself. Anyway, let's. Uh, I'll be right back with my next opponent. Okay, and my opponent just failed to connect. Unfortunately, we don't get any XP for that. Okay, here we go. And we got our next opponent. Swiper, 61%. Alright, and we have better bundles. What is this? Big Bloom Buster. Camo Regro Efficiency. Like, this is also so useless, but I think it's like... Actually, I don't know what kind of power these are. Big Bloom Buster, that's definitely like a, what's it called, a tra or a, an attack power. I guess a tower power. Better bundles is like a track power, I think. All right, a roadblock. Let's see. Oh, this is actually a pretty annoying strat and maps. So I don't want to play that because it seems like it's going to go late. I'd rather play on shorter maps. This is pretty good. Uh, right here, we can start out with an Engineer, which is a solid start. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to place that here. Of course, he goes for the wizard first. Uh, but that's actually kind of bad because I'm going to send him a ton of pinks on round four. Which he really doesn't want. But uh, let's put down our better bundles here. And let's just send him a ton of pinks. Let's see. He's going to struggle a lot to this. He might even die to this just because now he's going for an engineer. Instead of getting up a lightning. As you can see, it's round two and he already has no, no defense. So going for a wizard immediately. Kind of risky because now he's just going to lose a bunch of lives. Still doesn't have a lightning up. He has a fireball, though. That's not really going to save him. Since he's not rushing me in this case, I'm just going to farm. Okay, now there he goes. He's starting to rush me. Good job, buddy. Let's go for a sentry gun here. Send him some blacks. And I'm probably going to go for second uh, or even faster shooting thingy. Sentry something. Yep, there we go. And now he's starting to send this. I'm going to go for a wizard right here. And I'm going to get up a uh, fireball. See if we can target this two first. And get up a 9 inch nail here. And we should be chilling. I just want to keep on sending him blacks right now. Because one, it's good eco. And two, it looks like it's, it's about to uh, win me the game. He still doesn't have a lightning up yet. Which, again, that's pretty, uh, pretty sad. But uh, let's send him a bunch of yellows here. Hopefully, we will get a ton of leaks from this. I think he will probably die here. Most likely. Oh, he got up his lightning. He might just be fine. Just barely. Anyway, let's go for the region. Send a bunch of region whites while they're cheap. Let's see if this does anything or if he uh, fully out, uh, out defends. Looks like he's defending. So right now I'm just going to go for my lightning. I have a pretty good eco here. So I'm thinking I'm just going to all out him around 13. And uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to defend. Also right now he's just ecoing, which uh, is not good for him, obviously. But let's see. Actually, round 11 is when we want to all out him. He has two lightnings now. I, no, never mind. He only has one. All right, so let's do this. And we can send a bunch of these because camo re uh, regrow efficiency is really good. And he's not rushing me back, so I'm just going to sell this. And make sure we uh, we fully all out him, which we did. And there we go. Let's see. Good game to Mr. Swiper. And we're going to be moving on a few more times. I'm just going to make sure that you guys get the full gist of it. Okay, next up we're against Lee Rain Rainback, I think. Okay. Um, see, we have best bundles. That's actually really good. 
That's another Track Power XP. It has 50, uh, 50 lives, which is nice. Tower Blindness, again, that's also really, really good. And then we have Improved Tower Boost. But I'm actually going to skip, uh, not because of the powers, but because of the loadout. Indoor Pools is really good for me, especially in speed, because our opponent's going to be struggling so much on this map. Uh, and we can be very aggressive here. So I will definitely play Indoor Pools. We're going to start off with a Wizard, of course. Out of the towers we're given. Okay, so he skips. He doesn't want to play that map. And now we're forced to play this map. Oh, this should be fun. Okay, so of course we can. We only have one uh, one way to go here, and that is to start with a ninja. So we want to send a bunch of rats immediately, because right now we're going ninja versus ninja, and we need eco. And we need uh, eco really bad. And we do have a tower boost, which means we can actually get away with greeting a bit. The good thing here is we have tower blindness, and he, I don't think he noticed. Like, I don't think he noticed we have tower blindness, which means we can actually kill him round six. Uh, why can we kill him round six? You may wonder. Well, do you see his very terrible position of his uh, what's it called his ninja? Yeah, my tower blindness, my ninja still hits the balloons because it squeezed. Like I hooked my ninja really tight to the track. But he's definitely just gonna die to... Actually, he might actually just die to uh, greens. Okay, so he puts down spikes. I guess that's good. I mean, spikes are a lot of lives. But right now, we are doing pretty good with these green balloons. So I'm gonna use the first tower blindness here on him. And I think he's just gonna go down. Yep. He's just dead to that. 1 minute 11 seconds in, and we do end up winning another game. I think this is 4 games so far in like 10 minutes. Like, not even 10 minutes. And our XP shows 29 track XP, 28 tower XP, and 25 sabo XP. So, again, this is like... This is just amazing. Like, this is just a free XP farm. I remember recording my Rex to Riches series back in the day. Um, you guys can go check that out. It is in my... If you go to my channel and you go to... Uh, it's called all my uh, my playlists. There's a whole playlist full of racks to riches videos. But when I was making that, this is actually one of the ways I used to grind uh, XP back in the day. So definitely one of the best ways to grind XP. So I do recommend uh, adopting this method. Okay, next opponent up, and oh, this is actually pretty fun. We have Copy Eco and Price Gouge. This is uh... oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be annoying to play. This is some Asian sensation strategy right here. Okay, so he's gonna skip the first map. That's good, because I actually did not want to play with that loadout. I will, however, play on this map. No problem. I will probably copy Eco. So I'm going to uh, start out really slow here. And I'm gonna go for a fireball on close. There we go. Go for intense magic as well. Actually, I'll target it to first. See if... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. I'll send him a bunch of pings. So let's copy his eco and then send him a few pings. We have two copy ecos we uh, we can get to use here. He does not have that much money because he spent a lot of it ecoing. So right now, who has the advantage? Me or him? I'd say me because he's leaking more lives than I am. Of course, I'm leaking a little bit to the pings as well. But not, uh, not that terribly. Also, right now, I'm about to send him blacks and he's going to die. I think we will probably win this less than a minute and 10 seconds in. Yep. And I'm just going to blue storm these blacks and he's about to go down. Okay, 52 seconds. 52 seconds is all it took. Like, you can see. All you got to do is just be aggressive. Like, the, like how, I'm, how I'm being. Also, funny enough, we just, uh, we just hit 91 million medallions. Only 9 more to go and we'll have uh, 100 million. That's actually going to be, uh, be pretty insane when that happens. So, I'm excited. Okay, we're against our next opponent up here. His name is Player. Alright. And what do we get? We get lots of blue, intense tower boost, and long slow. Which, long slow is kind of useless. Not gonna lie, it really doesn't do that much. But, uh, water hazard, okay. What am I thinking we're gonna do here? I'm thinking we're gonna hit that skip button. Just like you guys should hit that like button and subscribe button. I really don't want to play this. This is annoying. This is a long map. This is actually a really long map, but uh, screw it. Of course, we want to start with a Buccaneer here. That's annoying. This is going to go some epic late game type. Actually, we probably won't. We can probably all out him around 13. He'd probably die. So, or around 11, I mean. 
Anyway, a good tip for playing in um, in what's it called? In speed is to get to roughly 400 eco and then farm. Like then just like hardcore greed farm from there. Because if you get 400 eco, you're gonna be 150 eco ahead of the norm. And then you're just gonna be able to like get down another farm every, uh, what's it called? Like every 12, 13 seconds ish. So that's actually insane. But let's keep going here. We're getting close. I'm gonna target this to close now. There we go. We don't want to leak too much to this, but I don't think we will either. Yeah, we should be fine. Even if we take a few leaks, I mean, that's that's okay. It doesn't really matter. He's getting up a lot of Buccaneers for no reason. Like, he's just spamming down random Buccaneers. I'm going to go for another one of these bad boys here. And then just send him up a few blacks behind. And this should be more than enough. I mean, we should be, uh, we should be fine. I'm just going to put down another lots of glue. And then I want to go for my farms here slowly but surely. There we go. And now we're just going to be farming. There's no point in me getting up a lot more... Uh, what's it called? A lot more defense right now. I'm probably going to get one more Buccaneer up in case he sends uh, yellows. But right now, as you can see, our farms are going to be going pretty freaking fast. Especially when Eco is given to us so quick. I mean, we're about to get up a plantation already at 1 minute and 42 seconds with 400 Eco. So... This is just really good for me. And now I'm going to be out farming him. And since he's not really... He's ecoing, but he's not ecoing a lot. Like, he's just ecoing with spaced. He probably has a little more eco than me. But I already have, like, so much more in farms. Like, it's crazy. I'm going to go for a second... Um, it's called Buccaneer. I'm going to put both of these on first. Just so we know we'll be fine. I'll get down a lots of loot as well. And go for this. And now he sends a lot of yellows. He's most likely going to die on round 11. Is what I'm thinking. So yeah. There's two more rounds. I'm going to send him a let. Actually, I'm going to send him a couple lets here. And then we're just going to be all outing him. And he's not going to be able to defend. Okay, so he goes for some let detection. That's nice. I'm going to be selling both of these and just all out region rainbows. And he uh, will 100% die. I'm not even going to try and defend that. We're just going to... Come on. All out region rainbows. Let's go, buddy. Surely he's dead to that, even with a boost. Lots of blue. Our lots of blue is actually going to help us a lot here. Because it's going to pop some things, so I can just get this up to defend. And he does end up going down. Even though this was a long map and it looked like it was going late, it still lasted less than 3 minutes, which is why R3 speed is so good. This is the point I'm trying to get across to everybody. Look at that. Like, we still get like 25 of each XP and 6 universal XP. So in this video, like, that's like close to like that's around 80 xp every single uh round you win and you can win most of these games in like less than one minute i'm not even kidding like you can probably win like without the time it takes to like uh entry uh like uh enter an arena and stuff you can probably win like over 30 games an hour which is like pretty freaking good uh, if you ask me. So this is definitely the best arena for XP. It's way better than just regular random trio and uh, Mega Boost Bonanza and also free power-ups. Like, don't play these. These barely give you any XP. What you want to do is you really do want to play Rainbow Ruins R3 speed when it's out. And if it's not out, play random trio because that way you will be 100% equal with your opponent. Same power, same towers, all that stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, do be sure to go down, like that smash button, like that subscribe button, like that comment section, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, life can be super happy, life can be super sad. I'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad. I go back to my future just to get to my past. But knowing me, my DeLorean will probably crash. Sometimes I get in a taxi when I ain't got no cash. Worry if my credit card don't work, then I might have to dash.